John was born with Down syndrome. He had worn crazy socks his whole life. And he came to me and said, Dad, I want to go into business with you. We founded together John's Crazy Socks, an online social enterprise spreading happiness. And we do it through socks. What will they find there? Sock, sock, and more socks. So we have over 1,900 different socks. We have a sock of the month club. We have gift bags, gift boxes. We'd like to say that we're the world's largest sock store. This called sock pickers. I wish you get a couple of hats. John is our chief happiness officer. He's the face of the business, and he's really the inspiration. Start inventing, bang! When we started, we had a little inventory. We were in a temporary office space in Huntington Village. The only marketing we did was to set up a Facebook page and have John talk about his socks. And we decided we wanted to make it really special. Got some candy, John wrote thank you notes, and we drove around and he hand delivered those door to door. Thank you. The customers really loved it. What they do, they took pictures with John, they took pictures of the socks, and started posting it on social media. And so word began to spread. And we knew this was something that could work. Last year was our first full year in business and we shipped over 42,000 orders. We brought in $1.7 million in revenue, and we're gonna more than double that this year. We've been able to raise $100,000 for our charity partner. John made the world's first Down Syndrome awareness sock. He designed that. He's designed the Down Syndrome superhero sock. It's not enough to just sell stuff anymore. You've gotta have a mission, and you gotta be giving back. How come everything's named after you? <laughs> John says, Down syndrome never holds me back. He's always finding new ways to get things done. John participates in all the major decisions, and when he's not here, the question is, what would John do? In schools, we tend to measure two things, analytical and verbal abilities. But there's an awful lot more to life than that. His social skills are off the charts. His dedication to getting things done and paying attention. We focus on what people can do, not what they can't do. And it's part of our mission. So we hire folks with intellectual disabilities. We share what they can do all the time through social media and videos and content we make. We host school tours. We have school work groups. John and I go on speaking engagements. We want to show the world what's possible when you give someone a chance. President Bush wears your socks. Justin Trudeau wears your socks. Yeah. And should I tell them about Bob Dylan? Oh, boy. There's a rumor that Bob Dylan was wearing a pair of John's crazy socks when he picked up his Nobel Prize. Now, we started that rumor, but he hasn't denied it. 